For all my stat geeks like me out there that need some numbers behind Super Bowl 58 that saw the Kansas City Chiefs beat the San Francisco 49ers in overtime, obviously the great Usher performance at halftime. Ladies and gentlemen, Super Bowl 58 was the most watched Super Bowl in the NFL's history. Over 123 million people tuned in to watch the Super Bowl that breaks last year's record of around 115 million people. In fact, apparently over 200 million people watched at least part of the game in some form or fashion. Now, what was the increase in the Super Bowl about? Was it just because we're in the streaming era? Was it just because people like to kick it coming out of the pandemic? More people just want to be a part of stuff? Or are we gonna give some credit to singer Taylor Swift, who because of her involvement with the NFL, dating Travis Kelsey of the Kansas City Chiefs, the team that won the Super Bowl, numbers have been up. As a matter of fact, the Super Bowl marked Taylor's 13th game that she attended in this season. CBS Sports reported that Travis Kelsey's jerseys spiked nearly 400%, which put him in the top five of the top selling jerseys following the announcement that he was dating Taylor. StubHub said that their ticket sales for Kansas City Chiefs home games spiked three times. Front office sports first reported that Taylor Swift somehow, someway generated nearly $330 million of revenue for the NFL and the Kansas City Chiefs. Shannon Sharp recently said that he loves Beyonce, but Beyonce ain't moving the needle like Taylor Swift. She's the closest thing we've seen to Michael Jackson in regards to moving the needle. So as many of you enjoyed watching Patrick Mahomes win his third Super Bowl, was it about Patrick? 49ers got a long lasting fan base or was it about Taylor Swift? She wasn't even performing at halftime. That was the legend of Sharaman. Does Taylor have a big involvement in the uptick in viewership for this year's Super Bowl? I'm just asking the question. It's up to you to debate and let me know. Let's just put it out there. Taylor Swift has a very young teenage demographic. And let's be more specific than that. Taylor's demographic skews teenage and white. That is a demographic that the NFL had been chasing, right? It's not easy to get teenagers to do anything, let alone sit there and watch a football game. But if you look at the season, anytime Travis Kelsey caught a damn ball, any network that had their game is paying into Taylor Swift when she was at the game. She attended 13 of those bad boys, including the Super Bowl. So maybe just maybe there is something to Taylor Swift. Is she the biggest needle mover that we got in the game today? Shannon Sharp believes so. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, and support. It's what your boy would never take for granted. Salute. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing. Why build theirs when I believe I can build my own? You've already done it, or I wouldn't be here. I'm already the only elite sports and music journalist in the game today. My goal is simple, to be the best there's ever been. So, please don't go. Make sure you subscribe and follow the journey. It truly means everything to me. I tell stories, I talk music, I cover sports, I am culture, I am Pharaoh.